everyone usually tells me that uh, doing this job is probably pretty easy and a lot of fun. And for the most part, you know what? They're right. It is pretty easy and a hell of a lot of fun. But I gotta tell you, I gotta be the first one to say it's not always smooth sailing. Why don't you check out a few things that weren't really meant for you to see? All right, and um, why don't you tell everyone what we're about to do? Well, I don't know. <laughs> What are you telling me to say this? Because he told you to say it. Yeah, he told me to ask him his name. Having sinister nightmares or flashbacks that conjure up. Oh, I f***ed up. Oh, yeah, cut. Take two. Take two. Take two. Cut. 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 Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome back. We're back with a colossal couple challenge presented by Jolly Rancher Candy. And of course, woo! Start again. Water! What? <laughs> I'm not doing anything, we're just throwing. You're talking to me on camera! <laughs> you can't do that? You've got a lot of weird elements to deal with when you're out here on location, and, well, not everything comes out the way you planned it. Sometimes you just gotta do takes over and over and over again. Check out what I mean. Hey, everybody, what's up? Oh, I'm sorry, what are we doing? <laughs> the promo? Oh, sorry. Hi, folks, I'm Daisy Fuentes, and it's time now for, um... A beach probe. <laughs> Wingnut and Pat just told you the Sunspeak word of the week, and right now I'm going to tell you how you can use it to win the sun. <laughs> sun kiss, sun sweet sweepstakes. Sun kiss, sun sweet sweepstakes. I got to tell you, people just crack me up during my work, and sometimes nobody really cracks me up more than I crack myself up. Peanut is neither a pea or a nut. Disgust. Okay. I never heard that. That's right. Give us the call. Five, 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 four, 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 four. We'll talk. No big whoop. I heard you're a great joke teller. I am. Really? I, I kind of have a joke. Okay, okay, listen. All right. What kind of bees can you get milk from? What kind of bees? Bees. Bees. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Boobies. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. So get your life in order now. Wearing that daring swimsuit that the people see. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did have the time to have quite a few laughs. They even screwed that up. They couldn't even get that right. What would they do without me? Hey, everybody, what's up? It's time now for one of my famous beach tips. Here it goes. When emptying the ice cooler, please observe common courtesy. Even if your motives are purely innocent, ice water may send a person with a weak heart into shock. Always dispose of melted oh ice water God. in an officially Whoa. designated Whoa. location. Hope you learned something today. That's all for now. Here's a video. Go! Go! Hi there, folks. We're back, Makapu Beach in Hawaii, and I am hanging out with my good friend here on the beach. Your name is? Anne-Marie. Okay, Anne-Marie, you have a confession now, because it's time for beach confessions, and there's something you'd like to get off your chest, right? Yes. Okay, well, go ahead and tell the folks. Well, we are on our way to Sandy Beach, my best friend Allie and I, and our friends cut us off. So we decided to kind of stay a little back behind, wait till they park the car. So we got out, we ripped cassette tapes, and we put it all over their antenna and their windshield wipers. We dumped white out all over their windshield and their windows. We put lotion, suntan oil, and I got my deodorant and just wrote all over their car. Ooh, and they have no idea, huh? No, they don't. Well, would you like to say you're sorry? No, not really, because they cut us off and they were trying to race us, so oh, I think so. they deserve it. Right, so you'd, you'd do it all over again? Yes, I would. And you do feel better now that you got this out and somebody yeah, actually I feel does like know. got it off my chest okay. then. Well, good. Okay, I'm glad we were here to help. All right, folks, guess what? It's time for a stupid human trick. And uh, Ricky has found someone quite special today. Daisy, when it comes to stupid human, I'm like a magnet. I can draw stupid people it. to me. And this is my friend Casey from Michigan. And Casey, just tell us briefly what kind of stupid thing you were going to do for us. I'm going to do something crazy with my ears. Something crazy with both of these ears. Now, you're going to have to stay tuned to see what crazy things my friend Casey from Michigan is going to do with his ears, so well, stay tuned. I don't know tuned. about you, but I can't wait to see it. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, we're back from Laguna Beach, and it is time for our stupid human trick of the day. Who better to send out to find a stupid human than me, Ricky Rackman? And I have found one, or at least one that does a stupid human trick. We have... <laughs> Casey? Casey, you're from... Michigan. 
and you're going to do something stupid with your ears, show America what you're going to do with your ears, Casey. Wow. All right, that would be <laughs> stupid. Now, Casey, can you still hear me? Hold on. I can hear you. Casey, uh, when did you realize you could fold up your ears and stick them inside your ear? Oh, when I was a little kid, I like, had a lot of free time on your hands. <laughs> yeah, I fondled with my ears a lot. And uh... Casey, you got to get out a little bit more often. You got to go play, okay? You got to find something else. There's some other things that he found out that we just don't want to show you. Stick around, more Beach MTV. Time now for Beach Scopes. This is where I give you a very special horoscope reading. So if your sign is Taurus, listen up. You earn heartfelt thanks and goodbyes from hundreds of sunbathers when you decide to finally leave the beach. An enticing Capricorn tries to bury you headfirst in the sand. Don't overact to criticism because for once, everyone else is right. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching for more Beach Scopes right here on Beach MTV. Folks, here on Beach MTV, all summer long, I've had some great co-hosts. I don't know if you've noticed or not, I've had some old friends come back and join me, and I've made some new friends that are now old friends, and hopefully we'll be back again. But all around, it's been just a bunch of great co-hosts. Check them out. Dan Cortez, ladies and gentlemen. Chicks dig skirts, and uh, I can relate. It's my feminine side. This is Nicholas Totoro of NYPD Blue. Get out of my face. I want to keep the camera still, all right. Hey, what's up? I'm Randy Kagan in Hawaii, believe it or not. Hey, freaks, man, you freak. I called you on the phone, you weren't home, you freak. It's Ed Marquez, I'm in Key West, Florida, having a great time. What do you think of me? Ed, I think you're a dirty little monkey. Ricky Rackman here with Daisy Fuentes. <laughs> Anytime you don't have a big celebrity show up, Daisy, I'm your man. The Lawrence Brothers, we've got Joey, we've got hey. Matthew, and we've got little Andy. What's up? Nothing. What's up? Have really bad Really bad hair. hair. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Look, look at this. It's like, hey, meet my hair. What's up? You guys doing all right? Hey, I'm Bill Bellamy, and this is Beach MTV. I'm the only brother lifeguard you ever see. I'm running South Beach. I'm saving lives. That's what it's all about. Brothers can do that. He's that chef. He's a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Yo, you know I'm just talking about shit. Uh-huh. Right on. Woo! Oh, Daisy, gotta get down. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce you to the star of Philadelphia, Tom Hanks. What's up? Uh, real quick. It's a lady that served you lunch in high school. You want to have some beef turkey, maybe some cheese and crackers, and get a low-fat milk? Hi, I'm David Charvet. MTV, I want to be a VJ. Oh, there you go. I want to hang out at this the beach just a little bit more. Oh, what a great home video it is of my summer, folks. You're watching the best of Beach MTV 1994. Stay tuned, because there's a lot more to come. What's up? I'm Daisy hanging out in Will Rogers Beach, California. And right now it's time for the Beach Pro presented by Trident. And today we searched the sands here at Will Rogers and we gave people something to chew on. And we asked them, how do you end a summer fling? And here's what they had to say. Well, I'd take her skydiving and make sure that I was the one that packed or didn't pack her shoot. I think I'd tell him to watch MTV and I'm sorry, Bob, it's over. <laughs> to take her out shark fishing off uh, the Great Barrier Reef and have her jump over and check the propeller. Well, I would tell him that I uh, was going to the Italian Riviera to um, have an arranged marriage and our fling is over. I would uh, start another fling with her best friend. Get a sex change and move to India. Well, I just explained to her that summer is over. Therefore, the fling is over. Well, there you have it. Now, be sure to catch another Beach Pro presented by Trident next week. Right now, stick around for more Beach MTV. It's Dan Cortez, Beach MTV with Daisy Fuentes. And you know what? It's time right now for Beach Buds. And today's contest is Best Tan. Uh, and I guess we're going to do the guys first. Is that right, Daisy? Yes, we are. Okay. Mark Gagas, come on down. Hey. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Hey. Woo. Hey. Jake, Wade, come on down. Woo. Hey. Mmm. Ah. Ooh. And Osmar Garcia, come on down. Woo. Hey, 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 oh, <laughs> Okay, uh, ladies.
Ladies and gentlemen, these people back here are not only my closest friends in the world, but but they're also the judges for today. That's Check beautiful. them out. Beautiful. All right, so um, beautiful. will it be this guy over here? What do you say? Yeah. Yeah. How about Jake? Mm. How about Osmar? It is time for Beach Bods, and today we are doing a best tan contest. And we already have the guy with the best tan on the beach, and now yeah. it's time to check out the ladies' tan. Okay, Daisy, what I have here in my back pocket, now presently in my left hand, are the three young ladies' names. Let's uh -huh. hear it first uh, for Christine Kazal. <laughs> oh, okay, let's hear it for Liz Christensen. <laughs> And last but not least, Sherry Kakala. Wow, pretty close, huh? Uh-huh. Pretty close, pretty close. Okay, crowd, now it's, uh, it's up to you to decide who has the best tan here for the females. Let's hear it for number one. Okay. Number two. Okay. Now, number three. I guess we... Sherry. Hey, let's bring my car. Okay, bring them in. They have the you got the tennis cup on the beach. Stay tuned. It's more Woo. after this. Hey, everybody, what's up? It's time now for a beach confession from Waikiki Beach here in Honolulu, Hawaii. And here we have Billy. All right, okay. Billy. Billy. Uh, so you have a story to tell us that you've never told anybody before, right? That's right. I need to tell my roommate Andy back in San Diego about this now. And uh, I inv involves his longboard, his new longboard he just bought. I took it out without asking him. And um, some kook like axed me on a wave, put this big ding in the rail. And I just took it back to his room and set it down like, you know, I had no idea what happened to it. And uh, he came home after work. He's like, what happened to my surfboard? And I'm like, I have no idea. The wind must have blown over or something. But Andy, I did. I'm King Ding. Sorry. Ding the board. What exactly does that mean? Do you know what, it's, what know, it means when you ding a board? Well, I know uh, King Ding. I used to have King Dings in my lunch all the time in grade school. Were you they the good? Chocolate with like the little. Did it have cream inside? inside? Yeah. Is that exactly. what it was? Oh wait, okay. your sticker's coming loose. Did you get it? Yeah. Is it on good now? Yeah. Thanks. Um, so you feel better now that you got this I out of your roommate knows? I feel 100 better now. I'm gonna have to pay him when I get home, but you know. Well, maybe he won't be watching it and he won't find out. But yet you'll feel better because you told everybody about your confession. King Ding. Right there. Thing right here. All right, well, good. I'm glad we could help him feel better. And now, you guys, here's a video for you so that you can feel better, too. Dear Diary, yesterday I had a revelation. It began with a tiny piece of food between my teeth. It began to really bother me. And the more I tried to loosen it with my tongue, the more obsessed I became with getting rid of it. Then I realized that sometimes life's problems are like that little piece of food. We make tiny problems into bigger ones just by obsessing over them. Then we waste a lot of time getting all worked up over nothing. That made me feel better, but I still have this damn piece of food between my teeth. The end. Everybody, uh. what's up? It's Beach MTV coming to you from Hawaii. Sandy Beach, it's so beautiful oh, here. Is. What is your name? Sean is my name. Sean is about to perform for us a Stupid human trick, folks. What is it that you're gonna do? It's the sick beach flip. It's kind of sick beach yeah. flip. You will see it when we come back. Okay, folks, we are back with the stupid human trick of the day. We've got Sean here ready to perform. What is it? It's the sick beach flip. Okay, are you ready to do it? I am. Should I back up? Uh, you might want to. It's just like some sand flying. Okay, you go for it. Whoa! Wow. Wow. That was really good. Let's check it out in slow motion right now. Really 
something. Are you a cheerleader? Uh, no, I'm not. I practice some gymnastics, but that's about it. Ooh, that's very, very good. But it was kind of sick, and it was our stupid human trick <laughs> of the day, folks. Hope you enjoyed it right now. Enjoy a video. here coming at you from the beautiful MTV Beach House. It's a beautiful day. Behind me, Sandblast auditions going on. In front of me, future Sandblast contenders. Coming up, cool videos from Soundgarden, Green Day. But first, let's kick things off with the new wave of grunge. Here's Mad on Madonna's label. Here's Candlebox with Far Behind. Salt and Pepper with None of Your Business. How you doing? This is Idalis at the MTV Beach House. It's a beautiful sunny day. Behind me, Sandblast auditions going on. On September 8th, we're all really excited here at the Beach House and at MTV because the world will tune in for the 1994 Video Music Awards. The Viewer's Choice Award is your chance to show the world who you think should be video of the year. Not us, who you think. Here are the nominees, R.E.M. with Everybody Hurts, Aerosmith with Crying, Beastie Boys with Sabotage, and Nirvana with Heart Shaped Box. All you gotta do is get to that phone and dial 1-900-420-2222 to cast your vote. Each call is 95 cents. Here are the current standings. If you wanna change them, all you gotta do is call. Now we've got this group coming up who went from rags to riches. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. They went from rags to riches in a matter of six months. These guys <clears throat> ended up on the stage at Lollapalooza. And I think the lead singer is going to have a lot of neck problems. Keep it here. But first, here are two pro surfers who are going to tell you how to keep our oceans clean. Good idea. It's us, Brad Gerlach and Peter King, professional surfers. <laughs> Hey, we've got a message for you 160 million people who visit the beach each year. Pick up every piece of garbage you create when you're on the beach. I'm talking about beer and soda bottles. I'm talking about cigarette butts. I'm talking about rubber, styrofoam, aluminum cans, and plastic bags. Do you know what plastic bags do to marine mammals? Please, people, I urge you, bring garbage back to the beach and just pick up after yourself and maybe one other person. It's not going to hurt. And you know what? You're going to reap what you sow. For every piece of trash you pick up, you're going to get one good wave, guaranteed. 